Yo, the Raid Action iChu RTX 3060 Ti X3. Let's unbox. This box is actually way bigger than the other 3060 Ti that we unboxed previously. So let's see how this triple fan edition of the 3060 Ti fair against the other brands of the twin fan and the triple fans okay black box as usual let's see what's inside you have the manuals and stuff uh, i don't think we need that we'll put that aside and our shinies anti-static bag with the card which is extremely heavy this card is extremely heavy oh and we have some acrylic over here so i assume I assume that we can actually customize this piece of acrylic over here because it's um, purely transparent. I think you can just put some things that you like over here. This one with the X3. And we have the Allen key and some screws over here. We will put that aside because most importantly is the performance. So this is the card. Let's open it up and see what we will have. For the 3060 Ti, this one is by Ino 3D. This is the iChu Edition X3. Damn, this is heavy. Damn, this is heavy. So we have three fans: one with the snowy logo, two with the iChu. Okay, this has less blades than the X2 OC. And then from here, we can see this is the top part, with the front being smaller, and the back being uh, slightly larger. Okay, ascending. Then where is the 8 pin? The 8 pin is all over almost at 80%. Okay, 70 to 80% area here. And we know that this side will be actually the red accent. But I can't really see where is the... Oh, so there is the LEDs, okay? This part is the heatsink, so... The last fan will be blowing cold air through the heatsink and exhaust over here. The PCB on this one is larger than the Twin X2 OC. So this 3060 Ti has a bigger PCB. But from this side, if you view it, it's actually quite empty. Okay, the PCB is empty over here. I don't really see much going on there. Except for there's two pins over here. Uh, I bet it's for the maybe RGB or the fan. Usually it's the fan. And it's heavy, okay? It's heavy. So everything is compacted right up until here. And this is the empty part of the PCB. I'm not sure why are they putting such a big PCB on this card. And this is uh, the heatsink, okay? This is the heatsink. And from the side, I can see there's two heat pipes here for the front block of the heatsink and another. I assume from the side view, there's one, two, three, four. Okay, that is four more heat, sink, uh, heat pipes over here. So this part, you have four heat pipes uh, cooled by two fans and one uh, heat block. Okay, the heat sink over here is cooled by the front fan. So let's put it inside the PC and see how the performance goes. So this is how it looks like after booting it up. Before booting it up, actually this place, what you see is just pure grey in colour. So after we boot it up, we get a red accent. So there is another X3 and a transparent acrylic. Uh, I will check it out on how do we install it over here. So I assume that we need to maybe place it on top or at the top here. So there's another gap here. So I assume we'll be putting it there. So now we are booting up into our windows since this is the first time running. So we'll need some time. Some time I'll run some tests and let's show you what are the results that we get from the Ino 3D iChill RTX 3060 Ti X3 Ultra X3. So before we jump into uh, our benchmark, so we'll be benchmarking the Port Royal. So before that, currently our GPU here is resting at 31 Celsius with an uh, ambient temperature of 25 celsius aircon so this is an open air test so i won't be placing it inside the casing so let's do a gpu stress test on the firmart 
with uh, no overclock whatsoever everything will be on stock and currently we will be switching it to full performance and let's see we'll come back after a minute all right so far we are reaching the saturation point okay we don't need to run it uh, for too long because of time constraint okay there are other reviewers might be giving you a better review on this card but due to time constraint i'll keep it very short we are 5 minutes 40 plus seconds into the test and the temperature is actually hovering around 63 to 64 celsius okay and this is the ITU ultra x3 for 3060 Ti and sound wise it's actually very silent and the fan isn't even spinning at full speed so this is the temperature 63 to 64 celsius and we'll now run the port royal and i will show you guys the result right after this and we here we have it. We have seven thousand one hundred and four points on an i5 9600K and thirty sixty Ti, which is the iChill, okay, the Ultra X3. So oh, that's good. And we get an estimated game performance if we are playing on Battlefield 5, 1440p Ultra. We get a hundred and five FPS. That is crazy. With Apex Legends, 120, GTA 5, 65 plus. So I guess this is because that my processor is kind of bottlenecking. So we are getting a slightly lower performance uh, index compared to if you are using a very high end processor. So here we have it. So, uh, and it's 41 Celsius. So this thing idles at around 41 and max at around 63 to 64 so we have this ultra x3 and thank you 